Hi there and welcome to Reacting with Petra. I'm Petra, I'm from Sweden and today I will be reacting to something. I want to give a trigger warning before I show this or talk about it. It, it covers eating disorders so if you are triggered by that, if you are suffering from it and you know you can get triggered by things like this, please don't watch it. Click, click off the video. I almost want to cry before watching it. I haven't watched it but I know what it's about. Uh, it's, it's a video it's a song called When the Lord by Susanne, Susanne Sundfur, uh, like a Norwegian person. Uh, and it's, as I understand, it's a video that the, where a woman called Lene Marie Fossen is covered. Like uh, she's on the video, she was suffering from anorexia from 10 years old. And until she unfortunately passed away from this terrible terrible disease and I, uh, oh, I I can't even I can almost not talk about it even as you can see without crying because I myself has been suffering from anorexia and bulimia and orthorexia uh, in my younger days and I'm finally free and it's such a blessing but it's such a rough disease so I get so sad when people have to suffer from it and when they when they don't get well. I never thought I would and I am so it is possible you guys never give up and I just tell this to people if you do have suffering or if you are suffering please just try to go against the demon just do whatever the opposite that it says if it tells you don't eat that candy eat two candies if it tells you um, go and vomit don't vomit. If it tells you you need to go out for a run because you ate, don't go for a run. You have to go against it. It's so hard. It's easier said than done and I know it's almost impossible. But that is the only advice I have to go against the demon because every time you do it gets weaker. But it's very hard to do so but it's also very hard to live with the sickness. So we'll see how much I'm going to cry about this, um, probably a lot, maybe I won't even be able to talk, but it's, I think it's an important important subject to talk about and not to, it shouldn't be taboo to talk about, it shouldn't be too, too, taboo to tell someone that you're suffering from it. Um, but please if you do, try to get help or try to work on it yourself, but just, yeah, I, like how am I going to go through this video, I don't know. I will link to the original video in the description box as well as the link to Petra's playground. Follow me and my daughter's lives there if you want to. But let's go. He's a great photographer. Oh my god, she was so talented.
<clears throat> May she rest in peace. She's finally free now, and she doesn't have to suffer anymore, but oh my god. I'm gonna try to pull myself together. So, I have to collect myself a little bit. That was rough to see, but oh my gosh, she was so talented with her photographing. She had so much to give the world. Very like she could catch such beautiful moments, such emotional pictures. It was, she was very talented and she was a very beautiful, beautiful woman. As you saw, she almost looked like a child still, which happens if you get the terrible sickness so young. And I understand that when you get it so young, it's very, very hard to leave it because that's all you know. It's who you are, it's all you know. You are consumed by it. But it's such a deadly and dangerous disease and I don't wish that upon anyone. I never... Beautiful song by the way and beautiful video too. It is the Sun Sun Fursum that has composed this soundtrack. It was obviously a Norwegian documentary, documentary how these things were from. Um, it's just so... I don't even know what to say. I just wish that all of you could, if you're suffering from this, that you can get by it, get, get through it. Even I who am well watching this. It is so weird how it works, uh, like in your mind you can compete with other people having the sickness and even if I'm well now, I start to think I wasn't, I wasn't even sick because I didn't look this thin, but I was very sick, um, nobody knew it because I wasn't, I wasn't this obviously sick, I just was not well and the thought patterns and everything. She was such a beautiful woman, it's just so sad that the struggle for like losing all the... Like that, that you can't see that you look thin and that you want to be thinner and it starts off like that and then you're just stuck in a dangerous, dangerous wheel of thoughts that are consuming your entire body and soul, your every thought just consumed about what I'm not able to eat or what I want to eat or what I, how I'm gonna remove it after I've eaten it. It's such a terrible sickness, you guys. And I'm so happy that I'm finally free, that I am free for real. Like if you, I thought about it earlier today and I didn't even know I was going to react to this today. When I was eating some noodles and I drank some chocolate milk and I'm like, this is not a very nutritious meal. But just because I can eat it without feeling guilty or having anxiety about it, it's a luxurious meal for me. You know, like I can eat everything I want to now and for me that's such freedom. And I'm so scared that those thoughts will claw its way back in my, in my brain so I'm constantly cautious if I ever think anything about food or exercise or anything and do it for some sort of anxiety, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm going the other way because I'm not going to let those demons back in my head, but... I'm sorry for talking about me, this isn't about me, but it just... I just know how it is to live with this terrible, terrible sickness. And only if you've lived with it you can truly understand the hell it is to constantly live with it. And on this level it must be... It must be terrible. Thank you, Suzanne, for a very, very beautiful song, beautiful video. And thank you, Lena Marie Fossen, for your beautiful pictures. And I hope you are flying free from all thoughts and just being free in yourself right now. Sorry for this cry fest, but sometimes you just have to cry and just talk about what's important. and. 
Maybe I don't have enough important things to say because it just touched me so much, but please take care of yourself out there. Please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my reactions and to Petra's Playground. But even more important, always keep being you, keep being amazing, and keep doing what you love. And I will see you next time.